Hey everyone, what's the channel? My name is Ash, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review for Goner 2 on Xbox. Now, this was released onto the store on the 22nd of October 2020. It's developed by Art in Heart and it's published by Raw Fury. And they were kind enough to send me a copy of this game for this video, so big thank you to them for that. Now, I recently covered the uh, original Goner game on the channel. If you haven't checked that video out, Feel free to go, it's in there on our reviews playlist. But Goner 2 is more of the same, but just a much more improved game in my opinion. It, it just feels like a 100% a like increase in just everything. It's just much better. They've improved pretty much everything about it. So it says uh, the unexpected hero, Ick, is back. And this time, death needs his help. Her lair has been taken over by a mysterious presence, and she needs Ick to take it down. Journey your way through the deep, dark, chaotic places with sparks of unimaginable colour and crazy bosses, all while trying to literally keep your head. Goner 2 is a procedurally generated platformer with roguelike elements that will keep you on your toes, now with more added colour and chaos. And like I say... Um, it improves everything in my opinion. The gameplay itself is pretty much the same as it was previously. Except now the graphics have definitely had a, a nice improvement to them. The way it handles just feels better. The, the gun combat feels better. Everything just feels better in my opinion. Um, the enemy design looks cooler. You've got like breakable um, blocks and stuff. Um, it, it, it just feels smoother. It, it's like how the original game should have been and the original game is really good like i say it's hard uh but and it was very serviceable it did it did what it said on the tin but this one like i say if you had to pick one or the other i wouldn't even go near number one anymore i would only go from two because two is absolutely fantastic so you get this crazy sort of shooter action and um, as this character you can take hits, but if you take hits, you sort of fall apart and you just become like a blob and you have to sort of put yourself back together, get your, your skull, your backpack and your weapon. Um, all the levels are procedurally generated um, and there's no sort of linear level structure. So every time you die, you sort of regroup, get your kit together and go back in over and over again. Um, there's cool boss fights with like sort of crazy boss characters. One of them was like this ostrich bird type thing, which was pretty funny. Um, I quite like that one. It was really cool. And the gameplay itself, like I say, is sort of a roguelike uh, in the aspect of like you restart the loop basically every time you die. And... If you unlock new weapons and stuff like that, and new skulls, etc., you can equip them when you die, but uh, you don't have anything else, basically. It's all about combo-based scoring, so the, the quicker you kill opponents and enemies and stuff, uh, you boost that combo up to get a better score, basically. Now, um, apparently this game also has a party co-op mode compared to the original one. Um, so you can play together with your friends. I only played this single player because um, I'm just on my own at the moment. So I haven't been, unfortunately, able to um, try it co-op. Um, but I, I hope it makes it slightly easier because this game is extremely hard. Um, it, it's just as hard as the original. You, you'll just get killed after killed after killed while you're getting used to the game but i still find it really fun um it is a bit confusing for new players so if it is your first time playing it don't get too disheartened by it just keep going at it and you'll get there um but it does sort of throw you in at the deep end so if you're not used to it it, it can be a bit um overbearing basically but if you haven't played this game or the original, I highly recommend picking up number two. It's priced at £10.74 
um, Pence on the Xbox Store, playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. It does support smart delivery and optimised uh, for Xbox Series X and S with 4K Ultra HD Res and 60 FPS Plus. And you can also pick up a bundle version for uh, £16 and 74 pence, which is the Lose Your Head bundle, uh, which includes um, the original game and the second game uh, for a slightly discount price. You're saving a couple of quid, basically, if you buy it uh, in this bundle. So if you haven't played the first one, I highly recommend picking them both up. But once you've played one and you move on to two, you'll see how, like, They've refined everything from the first game, the graphical style, the way it controls and stuff. I just think number two is a much more polished game, but they are both uh, enjoyable in their own rights as well. I would recommend both of them, but two, fantastic compared to number one. It's just rock hard uh, for a game. So if you don't like those sort of constant death roguelike games uh, in like a platformer-esque sense, this probably isn't the game for you. But if you like these sort of bullet hell, crazy, let's kill everything on screen, combo, gonna die, so I'm gonna have to keep replaying and replaying to just sort of progress, then this is a really good 2D uh, platformer for you to check out. But it's out right now, check it out, it's on Xbox Live, 1074. See you soon for more videos, guys. Bye for now.